Hi, I'm Shantir Higgins and I'm one of the 2010 drum majors for the Cavalier Marching Band. I'd like to congratulate you on getting into the university and deciding to join our wonderful band family. We're standing here on David A. Harrison Field in Scott Stadium at the Carl Smith Center and I just want to tell you a little bit about what we do. Every home game, 62,000 fans come to see the band usher the football team to a great victory. So sit back, relax, and get ready to experience the Cavalier Marching Band. Hi, I'm Matt Gilwald, a rising fourth year engineering student and one of your Cavalier Marching Band drum majors for the 2010 season. We're standing here today at Cars Hill Field, a $1 million facility built for the Cavalier Marching Band. During the fall season, we'll practice here every week, two times a week on non-game weeks, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and on game weeks, we'll have an extra rehearsal on Fridays, as well as the day of the football game. The fans are invited to come out here and watch the Cavalier Marching Band rehearse, and it's really a fun experience. Um, every August, we meet for a week for band camp, and this facility will be used to allow us to learn fundamentals, such as your marching step style, and really rehearse the first show so that we get a head start going into the season. We're standing here in front of Tunnels where the Cavalier Marching Band explodes onto the field to perform our pregame show for the fans. Let's take a look at what it's really like to get these who's going. Hi, I'm Abby Heider. I'm a rising third year. I play piccolo and now I'm drum major for the marching band. We're here at John Paul Jones Arena, home of the men's and women's basketball teams, led by coaches Tony Bennett and Debbie Ryan. Our job at a basketball game is to get the crowd into it, the cheers and our songs as much as possible. When you experience the atmosphere of a close game for the first time, the intensity and the roar of the crowd standing and screaming until the last seconds of the game is enough to blow you away. I want the kind of players in our program that are excited to be about building a program. They're good kids, they're serious about their education, um, they respect people out in the community. I'd like to know that you've built a program like this, and I've heard good things about the, the band. I can't wait to observe it in person this year. Um, I just want to say that I appreciate that because I never really did when I was in college as an athlete until I realized what went into it. I saw how they just, you know, they're all gifted, they play their music, no big deal, but you work at it. To be as good as you are, you work at it, and again, I think it's a labor of love. You're not, the last couple of years, there hasn't been a lot of success, and, uh, and that's why I respect you guys, because you're with, through the, the bad stuff, you stay with it, and I know you support, and I hope you do at least. I, I'd ask you to do that, because it's not easy building something, and, and the fact that you guys stay positive and support, and then when it gets good, it's a blast. We also have a great opportunity to play at other sporting events year-round. In the winter, we play at wrestling matches and volleyball games, and in the spring, we play at lacrosse games and tennis matches. In these smaller ensembles, student leadership is important to make events run smoothly. And during the marching band season, these student leaders play an even bigger role. From handing out and sorting uniforms, to passing out food at games, to running their respective sections. 
student leadership is the backbone of the marching band. Even those who don't have a specified role can still play an important part. Ultimately, everyone needs to work together to ensure a successful season. Oh,